Lock on from the future here. Um, just to, just to let you know, if you don't care at all about me explaining all these features and stuff, j just go to the description, copy paste that into your launch options in Steam, and you're finished. Uh, but yeah, in the video, I'm just gonna explain what they all do, why you should use them, you know, alternatives and stuff like that. So if you care, watch it. If you don't, just copy paste from the description, and yeah, enjoy. Alright, just real quick before we get into this, if you look, do you enjoy the content and you want to help support me, then consider subscribing. Most of you want, I'd appreciate it a lot. And uh, maybe if this video goes on to help you, which it will, um, if you haven't heard of these things before, consider leaving a like too. Once again, appreciate that a lot. But um, yeah, so let me not waste your time. Basically, if you didn't know what Special K was, uh, well, in Brahalla, right, there is a massive gap uh, between hardware. So, for example, if you had a 60 hertz monitor and you had like, you know, playing against someone with a 240 hertz monitor, you are at a massive disadvantage on 60 hertz. Uh, Special K was something that uh, people used um, to kind of counteract that. It made your game run much better. It made basically a 60 hertz monitor, a 240 hertz monitor, maybe even a 390 hertz monitor. Um, and yeah, these are things people can't afford. Uh, so for a long time now, people have been asking Brawl to optimize their game. And, you know, they banned Special K even because it gave people such a big advantage. Because, um, yeah, I really cannot understate, you know, or overstate. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? There's a massive difference between hardware in this game. PC, console, different monitors, keyboards, all that stuff. So what they've done, this update, is, is finally implemented some of Special K's features into Brawlhalla itself. But it's only for PC players, obviously, because... Brawla hates console players, but if you're on PC, this is a brilliant update. If you're on console, unfortunate, my brother, but um, yeah, so there's two things you need to do to get them going. You need to make sure you're on the test version. Uh, if you see here on the left where my mouse is, it says Brahala Tech Test. You need to be on this, and the way you do that is you go into Settings, Properties, um, and then Betas, and then you just click Tech Test. Uh, so I'll change it back to normal. My game will like update, right, and it'll change back to normal. Uh, just to try and show you if you're doing it yourself. So now I just have non brawler properties, betas, tech test. You don't need to enter anything into this beta code or whatever. That's what I thought. That's what loads of people think, but you literally don't. You see that it just updates by itself as soon as you change it. After that, um, you need to enter some launch options. Um, and there's obviously the new launch options they just came out with, but there's many launch options that you kind of need to add to your game regardless, right? That have been around for a while. And if you haven't heard of them, then this video was a blessing to you because it will improve your game's performance so much. Um, and also uh, save time of your life with this first one. So the first one I'm going to go over is no EAC. Um, if you know what EAC is, easy anti-cheat. Every single time you open Brawl, if you don't have this command in, you're going to have that massive like waiting time where the easy anti-cheat is like loading up and it just, it takes the piss. Um, and yeah, it, it also makes your brawl run really bad. Like ever since they implemented easy anti-cheat, yeah, it brawl just runs shit. So no EAC. I don't really know what the point of an anti-cheat is when you can just turn it off this easily, but every single pro player has this turned off. Um so yeah, trust me, <laughs> do this, please, for your own sake. Um yeah, it it, it just helps with everything. Okay, the next one is very, very important. If you don't put this in, your game will be locked at 60 FPS pretty much, so you, the hertz of your monitor won't matter. I mean, actually, I think the tech test, like, unlocks your FPS regardless, but it's just, it's better to put it in, um, just to be safe. And there's two ways you can do it. You can either put unlock FPS, um, which will basically, your Brahalla will try and run at 1000 FPS, which it obviously won't. It will just stop at whatever hertz your monitor is. So say you have 240 hertz monitor, um, if you put unlock FPS, it will just, you know, Try and go above 240, but it can't because your monitor is 240 and it'll just stay at 240. Um, alternatively, if you don't want to do that, you can put set FPS and then the hertz of your monitor. So if you have a 360 hertz monitor, you put set FPS 360. You have a 60 hertz monitor, set FPS 60, etc. etc. So for me, it'd be 240. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Unlock FPS is just the one most people use. I use set FPS personally, but it literally doesn't make a difference. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, there's also high. This one, it, I, okay, it might not work, but if it doesn't work, it's not going to affect your game. If it does work, it'll do good things. So it's like you might as well do it regardless. Um, but what this does uh, on a lot of Steam games, this will make it so that the game you're playing and the game you launch runs. Like, it has like the highest priority 
on your computer. So say you have shit going on in the background. If you put high in, uh, Brahala will, you know, the most resources will be dedicated to Brahala and it will have the most priority on your PC. Hopefully that makes sense. Listen, I'm not like a like a technician, uh, a computer tech. I, fuck it, I can't explain this stuff, but <laughs> hopefully you understand the gist. Um, so that's that. And then the new one, and potentially the most important one, unless there's some like major problems with it that people haven't discovered yet. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's the one that they just released, which is Frame Fix. Um, I had to check that because there's two versions of it and I, I didn't know what the second one was called. So if you put Frame Fix in, um, it implements like the special K features, like I said, um, but you have VSync one, which, and this is going to depend if you have a shit PC or I'm taking Folder's word for it because like he said in his tweet, obviously I'm paraphrasing, he didn't say shit PC, but if you have a shit PC, then you should use this one, just Frame Fix. If your PC is a little bit beefier, I don't know how much beefier it has to be. He didn't really specify, uh, but you can experiment anyway. It takes two seconds to run Brawl. You can just see if it works or not. Uh, but to turn off VSync, which you should do, so really everyone should do this, and you should only go to Frame Fix if your PC really is, you know, you're experiencing like problems with the game, frame skips, stuff like that. Um, you should put this one, which is Frame uh, Frame Fix even unbounded. Um, also, I'll leave all these commands in the description so you can literally just copy paste them into your Steam, uh, which will be the easier way to go about it. Um, but yeah, like I said, try this one first because this is going to be much better. Um, and if it, you know, like I said, if you have problems, just go to frame fix, not, you know, get rid of the unbounded. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this implements like the, the new features to try and optimize Brawl more. Um, decreases the hardware gap a little bit because it's like, you know, now if you have a 360Hz mono you're at less of an advantage. You're still at a massive advantage, but a bit less. Uh, so, you know, it, it's good. This is a, a really good change. And this update as a whole was very good. Um, I'll go over the rest of the stuff tomorrow, but yeah, like actually, Brahala have done a banging job. Um, the last one I'm going to talk about is one that's not necessary at all. Um, I don't use it myself. If you're really competing like that, you know, you're trying to get to, to bronze for your first time and all your friends are bullying you every day at school because you're fucking your tin um then put this on because you know it does help but what it does is it gets rid of the uh, clans and stuff uh so you it's not like it makes you leave your clan or anything but uh you know when you load into a game and it shows both your like players and stuff and it'll show your name and the border and everything like that people's clans won't be there um if you put this on because it's obviously meant for like the broadcasters right like when they're streaming you know the tournaments and stuff um but it does help with performance like some people they said it actually makes it worse but most people like this fixed a lot of their problems honestly you might not even need this on anymore now that you have you know the frame fix unbounded but you know if you have all this on and nothing's working your game's still a bit just not running very well you, you're getting fps drops you're you know it, it's just weird try broadcaster like I said, I don't use it just because I like to see what clans people are in. But if that doesn't matter to you, then there's no harm in putting it on, really. It'll just make your game run even better. Um, and yeah, I'm, that, that's literally it. Um, like I said, I don't use broadcasters, so I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, but yeah, put all these on. See if your game runs better. Obviously, if it doesn't, just get rid of the unbounded here. Try that. Um, maybe try put a set FPS and then, you know, your monitors hurts. You can find out how to find a hurt to monitor. I'm not even going to go over that. Uh, <laughs> try that way. And yeah, but these ones are the main ones. Like I said, I'll leave them in the description. You can just copy paste them. And yeah, it makes your brawl run much better. One more thing I'll just add to the end of this video. Um, something I use, which I don't think anyone else really uses in the Brawler community. It's more like in the CSGO community and stuff. People use this. Um, but it's called Game Dashboard, as you can see. It's, like a, it's just a, a Steam app or game. I don't know what you call it. Uh, but yeah, it just literally runs this thing, this screen you can see down here. Um, and yeah, for me, it makes Brawl run so much better. Like my input delay is literally halved when I run this. So I do it. Uh, it costs like £5, so obviously you don't have to. And, you know, with these new features, it just makes it even less worth it. But if nothing else works, maybe try that. Uh, and yeah, I have nothing else to say really. So like I said, hopefully you've enjoyed. Hopefully it's helped. If you did, subscribe, leave a like. I'd appreciate it. And yeah, see you a lot tomorrow. Have a great day, days, and peace.